numbers for the Celts here. Boston now has pushed the lead to 24. Welcome in to Celtics post game live. Eddie House, Amina Smith here with you. The Celtics put a beat down on the Dallas Mavericks, 138 to 110. And at one point, Eddie, the Mavericks, they were in this game. They only trailed by seven at halftime. Just how much did the Celtics prove that they were just head and shoulders better than the other team out there? I, I, I hate to say it like this. They. We are really good. <laughs> At the end of the day, this team is really damn good. I mean, when you look from top to bottom, they have seven, seven guys in double figures. They're top two players balling out when they need to. Jason Tatum playing outlandish basketball, um, making a statement. I know Luka had the triple-double with 37, 11, and 12, but in a losing effort. And you see what Jason Tatum did in a winning effort. I mean, it's so fun to watch. If you are a Celtics fan, just love the moments that you're in right now. Just really appreciate how good this basketball team is. And 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 do you know what the scary thing about it, Amina, what? is they're not even close to their ceiling. I feel mm. like this team okay. can get better and better and better. They have a, a lot to – they they their ceiling is extremely high. Wow. At this point now, I March 1st. That. March 1st. I, and the you ceiling, heard it. The ceiling it is down. still high for this Celtics team. Let's take a look at our poll right now presented by Zenny. Who should win tonight's Tommy Award? You see all the options right there. Jason Tatum already at 100%. Everybody just hitting the button for Jason Tatum. But you take a look at all the names here, Eddie. You got Tatum, Brown. Porzingis, White, Holiday, Horford, and Xavier Tillman, new guy on this list as well. Who do you go with if you are Scal picking for the Tommy Award? Well, if I would, well, I, I can't be Scal because sometimes he's off kilter. Oh, man. Yeah. You, not, you, not sending he, shots this early. Hold yeah, on. Yeah, sometimes he's a little, <laughs> he's, he's, he's to the left a little bit. But I will say this, I have to go with Jason Tatum. Mm. I think that, especially in a game like this, this is that, Remember I tell you, like, you know, you get your fresh fade. Oh, you yeah. Get, you come, you know, it's on TV. Everybody everybody was watching this mm -hmm. game, and they wanted to see exactly what Jason Tatum is going to do, what Luka Doncic is going to do, what their team is going to do. And Jason Tatum came out there and showed exactly why he should be in the MVP conversation and possibly could win this MVP. And you mentioned Luka Doncic, 37 points, 12 rebounds, and 11 assists. And we talked about this in the pregame show, what this head-to-head -head matchup could do for Jason Tatum in that MVP conversation. You go up against this Dallas Mavericks team, your Jason Tatum, you put, it up, put up the numbers that you do, and then you beat another MVP candidate. What does that do for Jason Tatum after tonight? Well, it, it wasn't a, it was a molly whopper. A molly whopper. Yeah, it was a molly whopper. It wasn't a regular win. It wasn't a beat down. It wasn't a beat It wasn't a regular win. It was a molly whopper. And then you the one that were spearheading that. You know, you talk about that, uh, just the way that he was able to go out there, whether it was inside, outside, getting his other team teammates involved, playing solid defense on a defensive end and setting a tone and in so many different ways. It, that's a big statement. Yeah. And, and for him, individually, he knew it was going to have to be a big statement. He came out there now. He doesn't have the triple-double, but he has a molly whopping type win, and he has a dominant performance on national TV. Yeah. And that, that is important because a lot of people don't don't realize that what's, what, what, what happens, you know, as far as voters and things like that, what, what stays fresh in your mind is what you see, right? right? And so you just went out there to see him put Bigfoot to Dallas, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Bigfoot, you know, and then after the way that he did that individually and the team also responded, I think that carries weight. And, and I think this year's voting for MVP is going to be tough because you're going to have to take in consideration that look at this team and how much better they have been in the regular season as opposed to guys putting up big numbers. Remember when they used to say the triple-double was just – it was when it Russell was, Westbrook yeah. was doing, doing oh, it, it, yeah. was, it was nothing. Mm -hmm. Now, all of a sudden, they're bringing that back into the forefront. But it should be to carry that same weight. Mm -hmm. I think the fact that you have the best team, one of the best, the, the best player on the best team, leading this team yeah. night in and night out. You know, I got, I got to say, you, you know, he did his business tonight for sure. Jalen Brown also did his business with 25 points out there in this win. Abby Chin is with him after this win. Jalen, after Dallas cut the lead to two, you guys seemed to go to another level. It ended up being a 46-24 run. How were you able to take control of this game? Uh, we just came out and we guarded a little bit better. We gave up like um, a lot of layups early in the game, and we played a little bit better in the second half, and that was the story of the game. 
you, Jason, and Kristaps all had 20 plus points. How do you guys balance feeding the hot hand with playing within the offense? The key is just maximizing your possessions, you know, limiting turnovers, um, getting stops. That gets you more offensive possessions on the offensive side, playing a little bit faster, and that makes everybody happy. So as long as we guarding, playing defense, and rebounding, there'll be plenty to go around. Everybody eats. Another efficient night for you. And you had a pretty sweet spin move. How are you seeing the floor right now? Um, just, just taking my time. You know, just seeing the floor, seeing where the, uh, the reads are coming from, trying to find my teammates, and trying to just make sure every possession uh, you're treating it like, I guess, your last. You guys have now won 10 straight. Consistency is not easy in this league. How are you maintaining that level? Um, we haven't skipped no steps. Uh, I think this year we've been intentional about everything that we do, so uh, we've been locked in, and we got to keep that up. You know, um, we, we all know what we're playing for. We're trying to get to the postseason healthy, um, but right now we're on track. Got another one tonight, JB. Thank you. All right, thank you, Al. Now, Jalen Brown after the game, and one thing that he said that I thought was really interesting was that consistency is not easy. Eddie, just really quickly, as a player, how tough is it to do what this team is doing right now? It's extremely hard because every single night, you know, you're going to get the best of every single opponent, and you have to be your best. And that's extremely hard to do over an 82-game season. But the fact that Jalen also said one thing I picked up, everything they're doing is intentional. Mm. And those are ways, those are winning habits that they're building.